Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Wise. Some eateries in bars near Tuscaloosa's Bryant Denny Stadium are weighing in on the impacts of the University of Alabama possibly selling alcohol at athletic events. ABC 3340's Bobby Portavent joins us now. Bobby, what are business owners telling you? They're telling me they believe it could cut down on binge drinking. They say if alcohol is sold at state at the stadium, fans might not drink so much at eateries and bars before heading out to the game. Yeah, just slow down on binge drinking a little bit. Um, you know, like I said, we don't think it'll cause too big of an impact to the local bars, you know, around town on game day. But it is something nice for fans that don't necessarily want to deal with big crowds before the game can get a drink inside the stadium. Now, the University of Alabama is working through a liquor license application process for Bryant-Denny Stadium. Now, the public will have a chance to weigh in all of this during Tuesday's city council meeting and before they vote on that application. But before that even happens, more people are weighing in on this, including bartenders who have questions about this liquor license coming and impacting their bars and eateries. That's coming up tonight at 10. Aaron.